All right, getting into some single dagger. Simple stuff, but really effective, and I think definitely skills that you need to develop your speed, to develop your coordination, to develop all those things that are really necessary to be functional with a knife. Just like with our stick, you have to be thinking about your angles. And with the dagger and the knife, they're shorter. All right, you're not trying to really swing out the knife. You're keeping everything very short, very direct, thrusting, 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 but everything stays right inside your shoulders, all right? And using your body and making sure that as soon as your blade cuts, the point is directly pointed towards the target in front of you. So again, very simple numbering systems can be used. Thrusting, over the top, cutting, thrusting, cut, cut. Same as we did with the stick. You can do it with the dagger. Once again, numbering systems and things of that nature are great for references. But as far as just moving and understanding the concepts of the knife, it doesn't really matter the numbering system. It matters more about the mechanics and how you are using your your body and the blade to cut precisely, right? Now, I'm gonna go into a couple really simple drills. One of them is uh, the thrust slash drill. So you're going thrust, slash, thrust, slash, thrust, slash, thrust, slash. This is right at the top line, thrusting, and then I slash across, I thrust, I slash, I thrust, I slash, I thrust, I slash. Right now I'm just trying to really maximize my body mechanics. So I'm using my body to swing. This is just exactly going to also help you with stuff like knife tapping because you're doing the same movement, same movement. And that's a huge thing is finding all the different ways you can move and see how they directly relate to other drills and other parts of the art. This is just like knife tapping. Now, just like we had the X, the X, the X, the Scala that we did, same thing, diagonal. Can go up on the diagonal line. Can switch it. Go straight across the body. Can swing it different angles, doesn't matter. Again, it's just about body mechanics, getting your hips moving, getting your shoulders, getting the knife and the hand and the blade all coordinating together. Super important. All right, so again, thrust, slash, 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 thrust slash different angles just keep moving your body and again body mechanics just like if I was knife tapping knife tapping angles angles now obviously you can see those body mechanics and how they would shift to also boxing all right I'm shifting shifting with my uppercuts shifting with the striking remember a lot of the knife work is very synonymous with uh, boxing. Your jabs, hooking, uppercuts, same motion, just a little bit different form formation and contact surface with your hand and fist as opposed to obviously the blade. Okay, so again, that was thrust, slash, thrust, slash. Very, very simple. Now, Second one that I'm going to do is thrusting drill. You're going to thrust, 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 all sideways at first. All right, so you're going in high, in low, in high, in low. And the goal is to get nice and loose and relaxed and try to think about hitting with some speed, but staying relaxed, staying relaxed at the same time. After you do it for a certain amount of time, you switch. Same thing, right hand, left hand, right hand, left hand. The other hand, you stay up, 
because you want to have those habits. One hand's active, the other hand is up, countering. High thrust, low thrust, high thrust, low thrust, inwards. Okay, same thing in forward. This is like low jab, high jab, low jab, high jab. Thrusting low, thrusting high, thrusting high, thrusting low. Then of course, you switch hands. High thrust, low thrust, high thrust, low thrust. Again, coordinating, coordinating those mechanics. Reverse grip. This one is high, low again. Again, trying to be nice and relaxed. Swinging that blade, quick thrusting. Again, trying to relax your shoulders as much as possible as you're doing it. High, low, high, low, high, low, high, low. Reverse. Reverse. Switching hands. Okay, then this side. Come in a different angle. Switch it. Different angle, high, low. Thrusting to the side, but coming in a backhand angle. High, low, high, low. All right, so. Basic speed drills, which will relate directly to your empty hands. Hook in, high, low, high, all right? Low hook, high hook, low. High jab, low jab. You can be going uppercut hook, which is now the next motion that we're gonna kinda do is right from here. We have our thrust, hook, thrust, hook. Thrusting, hooking, thrusting, Hooking, thrust, hook, thrust, hook, or vice versa. Hook, thrust, hook, thrust, hook, thrust, hook, thrust. It's the emphasis change. Thrust, hook, thrust, hook, thrust, hook, or hook, thrust, hook, thrust, hook, thrust. So you're trying to change the emphasis on this. Maybe at this point, I hit high, there's a block, some sort of obstruction. As soon as I hit that, I cut through and I thrust. High thrust, all right? So developing that coordination to work around the blocks, around any kind of obstruction so I can get to the target that I'm hopefully trying to hit. Those are some really fast drills, but I think really important drills to understand because once again, it's about the coordination of your arms, matching with your body mechanics, developing speed, and explosion. Train on.